I'm Tony LaFont, Penfield Town Supervisor. Uh, today I'm with uh, Phil Rossi, John Somerville. Uh, we're in Ellison Park uh, on this uh, beautiful snowy Saturday. And uh, so what, uh, what's going on here? There's a lot of activity around, uh, around the park. This is the most activity I've seen in the park since uh, summertime. What, uh, what's going on? Uh, we're holding our district Klondike this year and, uh, for Baywaters. And Baywaters is made up of the town of Penfield, the town of Webster, and the town of Arondequoit. And uh, we also invited our neighbors to the south from Fairport, which is Towpath District. And uh, we have about 165 scouts here and probably 60 to 65 adult leaders. And basically the Klondike is a winter activity where we run about 20 to 25 events. And the boys travel from each event participating in it and scoring points to win the overall championship of the Klondike. And John can talk about some of the events. Uh, some of the events we've got in right in this area, we've got a, a flag retirement ceremony, which is uh, a really great uh, ceremony. Tom Roffice is running it. Uh, we've got some branding here. We've got uh, all sorts of events, 10 or 12 events going down the road down here. So it looks like the kids are having a really great time with it, and uh, we're very pleased. This is actually kind of warm, you know, 20 degrees for a Klondike. Usually we have a lot more snow, usually about a foot of it, and, but we're all having a lot of fun here. We're doing wood burning, we got uh, wood cutting, and all these different activities like games. They're very fun. Uh, we've been, kind of been uh, worrying the last uh, last month or so where the, where the heck the snow was. Uh, and uh, on this day last year it was like 9 degrees and we had about uh, 2 feet of snow. Uh, so that, that really wasn't a problem, but this is a gorgeous day out here. We got just enough snow overnight to, uh, you know, and, and luckily the ground froze, which was even a bigger uh, bonus for us. So uh, looks like we're doing okay. Uh, kids are having a great time. I, I noticed uh, over the over the years I've had the opportunity and the pleasure uh, to be at a number of uh, uh, Eagle Scout uh, Court of Honors, and um, a number of uh, your scouts uh, have been involved uh, with that, as well as a number of other scouts across the, across the town. And one other thing that uh, continues to impress me is uh, the the dedication not only of uh, all the leaders, but uh, the dedication of these uh, young men uh, that are out there and uh, working toward their Eagle. Uh, program. Yeah. And we're very fortunate because a lot of programs have benefited the town of Penfield, which uh, benefits uh, everyone. Yeah. Uh, Phil, any, yeah. any uh, comments about that? Uh, actually, my youngest son, about 12 years ago, built a kiosk down at uh, Chan Philbrook's Park right. down there. And uh, we've done other things. We've built bridges and uh, other uh, upgrades to the town. And the, but the thing about it is the town, the DPW, they, they work so well with the boys, and that's a big feature because uh, working with scouting takes time. It, they're youth, trying to be a young adults, and uh, it's really important that you have an adult that understands that and works with them. And, uh, and, and in the end, everybody wins, the town, the, the young man, and the people who enjoy what he's done for the community. We try to teach these young men integrity and character, and I think John and I both agree, Klondike pits a young man against the elements. And when a, a young man defeats the elements from the cold and the wind, he walks away a better person, more self-confidence, uh, more understanding about what his capabilities are. And I think that's important in our youth. And uh, it's good to see here today, it's it's living and it's, and it's well uh, observed by all of the adults here, so. Walking around here a little while ago, just walking down through here, I, I continues to amaze me, the scouting program and, and the teamwork that these scouts can exhibit. Uh, it, it's amazing and and all that uh, teamwork, working together, uh, 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 battling the elements, whatever, all of that adds up to, a, to an 18 year old who's a very responsible young adult. And you see it time and time and time again. And you, you very seldom see um, a, a, a scout, an older scout or an Eagle Scout that's involved in, in that's in trouble. And and this is the this is the proof of the program right here, and this is what uh, this is what we're all here for, and this is what we're all trying to do. Right, excellent. Yeah. Uh, I will just uh, briefly comment on one of the last Eagle Scout projects that we've done. Uh, actually, uh, prepared in front of our 9/11 uh, memorial, um, a viewing station mm -hmm. uh, with a bench and mm -hmm. uh, some trees. And I, I have to tell you, uh, being the 10th anniversary uh, in 2011, 
having having uh, the scouts be involved with that, having them uh, prepare that, putting that together uh, as an area that will be there for many generations uh, to uh, to come and, and not to forget that, and uh, and to uh, be able to view uh, our flag and uh, what that means uh, not only to Penfield but uh, to this country. Yep. So. Okay. Look forward you. to it. Always a pleasure, and uh, thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. Thank All you right. Town, Absolutely. Town for your support, Tony. Great. We appreciate it. What the blue? What does the blue stand for? The frontier. Um, the frontier. United. The lakes, the streams, the rivers, all that stuff, right? What about the? What does the white color stand for? Purity. Purity. And what about the red? The blood. The blood that was shed at the battle. Very good. Continue your way, boys. Yeah. <laughs>